Okay, so I'll call this meeting to order, this special meeting to order for February the 15th, 2022. <clears throat> Resolved that the agenda for the February 15th special meeting uh, to carry out public hearings to be adopted and approved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. All in favor? <clears throat> it's carried. Okay, so three, 3.1. Result that council opened the public hearing for bylaw number four, 2022, being a special service levy for the collection of residential waste and recycling material. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Councilor Pavic. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. <clears throat> If there's any questions on them, we can still discuss them. So these, uh, as you all know, these are just updated to what we've had in the past and they expire after a certain period of time and they have to be renewed. <clears throat> can, go ahead. Can we just maybe have a, because this will be aired to the public, can we just, and not that it wasn't in the paper, but can we have a, just a quick summary of, okay. of what that is? <clears throat> So on bylaw four two thousand and twenty-two. Can I just ask for a few minutes? I'm just going to confirm that from one of the users that they're able to. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's wait. <clears throat> okay. So uh, let's go back and uh, let's just have. Uh, we'll do this for each one. Just a update on uh, the uh, the bylaw. So going back to four two thousand and twenty-two, if we can just maybe just get a, a summary. It's all in there as far as the information goes, but I guess maybe just a summary of it, um, the uh, the increase or, or whatever it might be. So, who wants to take that on, Mr. Harvey? Ah, uh, yeah. So for twenty twenty two, this is a special service bylaw, and uh, it's similar to the ones that we've had before. Uh, and each year we do this one, um, so it sets out what the uh, budgeted expenses are and what the budget budgeted revenues are for collecting residential waste and collecting residential recycling material and then using a special service bylaw it uh, portions those costs uh, or the net costs onto all the dwellings in town and then so there's a list of single dwelling units, two dwelling units, three dwelling units, four dwelling units, six dwelling units, and 10 dwelling units. And then it lists out the number of each, the rate that each of them pay, and then if you sum up the rate that each of them pay, it equals approximately what the net costs are. And uh, the only reason it's not exact is if you take the numbers and divide it by that amount, you come out to decimal pennies. So that's the reason that they're not exactly equal. Okay. Any good? And Mr. Harvey, can you just uh, state uh, what the grand total for that was for last year and what the grand total is for this year? Uh, so this year it is $317,011.52. And just give me a sec to pull up last year's. And last year's was $274,992.03. Thank you very much. Okay. Further questions, Councillor Friesen. I just wondered when this was sent, it might have been nice to put on what last year's was, because I've had people saying, "Wow, oh, is this a big increase?" And I'm thinking, "No, not a big increase. It's a little bit." But if we, if they knew what last year's was, would they have accepted this a little more, less 
grudgingly. And, and you're talking about the actual breakdown for residents. The breakdown and, and for so people forth. dwelling. I think that's a great idea. Maybe we can add that in. Okay. So we already voted on this, <clears throat> and it's been approved. So if there's no further discussion, we'll go on. We did. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Councilor Bobby. Well, uh, thank you, Mayor Jacobson. I was just wondering about a percentage. What what would the increase in percentage? Uh, I'd be a little bit higher than that just because of that MMSM, uh, the revenue is down. So to cover that, it's a bit of a bigger increase. Than that. So just for everybody, MMSM is a grant that we do receive, and how does that uh, determine? Uh, it's multi-material stewardship Manitoba, and uh, that's based on the amount of recycling that is done in the province. So you, how much you recycle versus how much you put in the landfill is compared to all the different municipalities. And then at the end of the year, or quarterly, I believe, they give out amounts. And uh, so it's, it's a little bit competitive between municipalities. And so as other municipalities, we get better at recycling, then we may get a little bit less. And, uh, So if we have less recycling, then that then we pay that grant is going to be lower. Yeah. So then that so our revenue is is lower. So then we have to carry, pick that up in uh, the cost to uh, to the landfill or pick up That's garbage, right, yeah. recycling and, and uh, garbage. Just on a, a quick calculate calculation, Councillor Bobbitt works out to about fourteen percent increase. Three seventeen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And do we Maybe know? The, do we know how much less uh, of that grant that we received from last year to this year? Uh, the revenue last year was ninety five thousand. This year the revenue is eighty eight thousand. And then there is increases to the uh, collection uh, the cost to uh, CDA negotiations. Yeah, that's right. Retro <clears throat> things like that. Okay. So at the end of the day, if we have more recycling, then we would receive a higher grant. Yeah. <clears throat> Councilor Bob. Yeah, and when was the last time these rates were raised? Uh, was it ever two years? Sorry, which what was uh, the question? Two years. Two years. It was raised two years ago, or was it? it was raised. Further questions? Okay. 3.3. I will now close uh, the hearing for bylaw 4 2022. 3.4, I'll open the, the discussion of this result that the council open the public hearing for bylaw 5 2022 being a special service levy to assist in funding municipal policing. Moved by Council White, seconded by Councilor Bobbing. Now we can have discussion on this. This is on police protection and uh, the cost of what that works out to our ratepayers. <clears throat> you want to take that one? Sure. <clears throat> so it it is the special service tax uh, will be leveled, sorry, levied on taxable rent in lieu and otherwise exempt properties within the boundaries of the Town of Swan River. The Town of Swan River will budget the following for the special service uh, estimated rounded numbers for 2022 and 2023. 2022 police protection 850,000, 2023 850,000. <coughs> I guess 
obviously know some of the questions that were asked previously. So I guess for, for simplicity, for anybody knowing that <coughs> police protection is actually more than $850, we, we actually don't, the, the, the whole amount that um, the individual property owner pays a portion of their um, uh, assessment, as well as there's a portion that they pay that's broken in, and with, this is the, uh, what, $850,000 reflects. $850,000 <coughs> is the special services tax that's divided above or amongst every property in town. The total cost of policing for 2022 is $1,320,650. From last year's one million, last year's budgeted number of one million two hundred fourteen thousand five hundred forty. So that is a nine percent increase. Reasons being, uh, I don't know. I guess I don't want to say that they ratified their agreement is the entire reason, but uh, that is a portion of it, along with the increase in wages, of course, and. Uh, their operating expenses. We do we do not have a say in this budget. We don't control the number. Any discussion? Councilor Bobby? Could there be an explanation for the rate payers on why this has been put into a special service tax is why what what was exempt and what how the taxation worked prior to this? That there is properties in town that if it isn't a special service tax, it will not pay this. If it isn't certain, if it isn't a special service tax, well, there would be a number of properties that would not pay this tax if it was not a special service tax. So I know the the goal was to was to make sure you captured properties that were receiving this service paid for that service. So that was one reason. The other reason was that it would it is a service that's equal to all the 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 people, you know taxpayers in town. Therefore, the cost should be equal. Okay. Further discussion? Okay. Then I close uh, bylaw number five, two thousand and twenty-two. <clears throat> Three point seven. Result the council open the public hearing for bylaw 6, 2022, being a special service levy to assist in funding various other special services. Moved by Councilor White, second by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion, and again, before you, you see how that's uh, broken down. Uh, Mr. Harvey? Uh, so this one, <clears throat> this is again a special service and it includes uh, a number of different items. There's uh, fire protection, street lighting, street cleaning, sidewalks and boulevards, ditches and drainage, dock recruitment, snow removal and dust control, road maintenance and reconstruction, and emergency measures. And similar to the police services one, uh, this special service bylaw was created uh, in 2015 and then gets renewed and uh, it was so that uh, properties that are exempt from paying taxes but that receive these services uh, pay their fair share essentially. Sorry? Just wondering if uh, uh, CFO Ganita, do you have anything to add uh, that, count, that you believe council should know regarding the special service bylaw? Right now, I'm just wondering about the times the public notices went out. It's the public hearing for bylaw 4 is at 6 p.m., for bylaw 5 is at 6.30 p.m., and for bylaw 6 is at 7 p.m. That is a good point. The notices did happen 15 minutes apart. I missed that. The notices happened 15 minutes apart, so 6 o'clock was the uh, bylaw 4. 2022, 6.15 was 5, 2022, and 6.30 was 6, 2022. Therefore, these people could be coming in 
at those times for the bylaw that they want to see. So I guess we could wait four minutes because that's when that's the last one was scheduled to start. Yeah, and, and you said six, the last one is going to be six? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. So we can wait to 6.30 six six and 7. Yes, yeah, 6.30 and 7. So my my apologies on that. I missed that, but we can uh, we can do our discussion, and we're not voting on anything. We're just reading them, and if anybody wants to come in, we'll have to keep uh, you know an open line until seven o'clock. And if anybody does come in, they can speak on any of them. I'll give them an opportunity to speak on on all three. Yeah, we'll have to. It does stay at seven o'clock. Yeah. Okay. For so the last, for the last pilot. So we will, uh, it does go rather quickly with the exceptions off. You see, we, we had time allotted in there for somebody to speak on it. Yeah. So we'll just discuss this and then we'll wait through until um, seven o'clock. And if nobody else attends, then we can close the, uh, or we can adjourn. Thank you, CFO Vinia, for pointing that out. Yeah, thank you. Councilor White. Uh, Mr. Gould, just a, a query. Is this our third time we've uh, done this now, or fourth? So this isn't a new thing at all. We've done this at least this at least our third, maybe our fourth time we've passed it because it is a two-year timeline. Then we have to, by law, bring it forward again. I, I couldn't say for sure. Uh, I know when we first started doing them, we were doing them annually, and then we started doing them every two years because of the amount of work involved. But uh, multiple, I couldn't say for sure, but at least there. Yeah. It's not a new thing at all that we did it for a long period of time. That's correct. Thank you. Can you give us a few examples of, of areas that are now, through the special service levies, being taxed, which reduces the taxes that I have to pay, anybody has to pay in our town by spreading it out more, that weren't taxed in the past, but are now? Uh, it would be churches. Schools. Schools, yeah. Hospitals. Yeah. Government buildings. So that's there's, there's, there's a pretty long list of, of uh, exempt properties in, this, in the town. So that's savings for all the community people, regular taxpayers, all of us benefit by this process. Yes. Councilor Bob, excuse me, Councilor Bobby. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, when these uh, special service bylaws were put in place and uh, money that is collected by them, so that was a direct relation to the mill rate, was that mill rate dropped at that time to reflect what was collected on the special services? Yeah, Council made sure that they uh, based okay. on that. Thank you. So, in this discussion, maybe if anybody's listening, um, explain, um, say, like we do have one example of a residential property that's valued at two hundred thousand dollars, which the portion assessment assessment is at ninety thousand. There's special service tax for all those services that you just mentioned uh, would be uh, two hundred and sixty-two dollars and forty-four cents. You're asking to, if you had any other, uh, I guess, if <coughs> maybe we have time, maybe even tell people how they arrive at. They can take what they they can look at their assessment, say, okay, my assessment is this, and my portioned assessment is this, because there's lots of people that don't know how to figure that out, and then um, what their calculation is. So say like they had an assessment of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, so they take their assessment, and then if they're residential, they multiply it by 0 0.45 to get their portioned assessment, and then they multiply their portioned assessment by the mill rate, and then they divide that by 1,000. Right. So then they would take that portion amount, times it by 
2.916 and then divide by and divide by 1,000 and that will tell them what their um, their uh, their levy would be for those services. <clears throat> and I guess while we're talking about this, this is again, Councilor Bobic has brought up that this is not the first time we've done this. This is just a renewal and an update to, uh, due to changing costs and so forth for, for those services. Any other discussion? Uh, Deputy Mayor Wintoy. And just to clarify um, for Councillor Bobbick and myself and doing a little bit of calculations, again, um, with the waste and recycling services um, that increased to 204, this is per dwelling, single dwelling unit, 204.26, previously 177.30 equals an increase of 15.2% on the waste and recycling services. Council Bobby. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, I was using the total figures of the cost of the thing, what, what you were collecting before and what you're collecting now on the individual. So just, I just broke it down a little bit further. So a question on that then. If, if that calculation that Council Bobby did Proved that it was a nine percent overall increase from last year to this year, but then the individual seen a increase of fifteen percent. Why? Why would that be? Is that because we have less commercial and we have more residential, or we have less residential and we have more commercial? Say that again. If they're <clears throat> why? So the number from the uh, what do we say was. Uh, 170, 275, 317 was 9%. I don't believe it was 9%. 9% was the RCMP. Well, this is roughly figures in my phone. I'm just taking from what I heard from one of the cops. What's that? I had to do it backwards in the phone. Okay. I'd still get an overall calculation of an increase of 13%. Okay. So I guess that that could differ because of Sorry, Mr. Bob, commercial unless I'm calculating it. Well, I, I could be wrong too. Sorry, Your Worship. No, that's fine. Any more discussion on that? We have about 25 minutes to talk about. <clears throat> Do you want a recess? Yeah, we can take a recess then. Okay. So we'll take a recess and no other discussion. We'll wait for 7 o'clock. Okay. Hello, can you hear us? I can hear you. Hey, is this Howie? It is, yeah. Okay, perfect. We're just waiting uh, five more minutes for, for other people to to attend. Okay. So we're just on the tail end of it. So I get, like we've read uh, the, uh, uh, the special services levies for residential waste, fire protection, and the list of uh, the multiple services. Um, do you have any questions on them? I got lots of questions, but probably not. We probably don't have enough time. Well, you can you you have time right now. So if you want to start asking oh. some questions, so go ahead. If you want to pick on a particular one, then we can uh, have some discussion and uh, and then move to the next ones. But yeah, by all means, uh, ask away. And well, my, my first question well, just is, just uh, just what just one second. Sorry, but I do need to uh, for you to state your name and your civic address. Okay. Howie Scales, uh, 465 Spec Road, Swan River. Okay, now you can carry on. 
I, I have one, one question that probably is a little irrelevant, but uh, we, we hired out a company from, I don't know where they're from, Yorkton or Brandon or whoever these guys are. The recycling? And it's the, the, the recycling, yeah. yeah. So it, it costs us more and more money all the time when we had a guy in town that was willing to do it and it probably would have saved us money and created some jobs locally. Uh, so, for so that's one of my questions. Okay, here's, here's a response from Mr. Harvey. Uh, so for the recycling contract, uh, tender was prepared and uh, advertised, and then the town selected the lowest bidder from the bids that we got back. Did it turn out to be the lowest? Yeah. A after all this time, is it the lowest? Of the ones that did it create did. did it create jobs in town? I don't think that's the, the question here, Holly. You're asking whether or not uh, it was the lowest bid that was accepted, but... Well, no, my, my question is, we went with, with, okay, let's say we went with the lowest bid, but now it's becoming not the probably the lowest bid as our costs go up, when we could have had a guy in town creating jobs. The, the time for the, um, the, the uh, contract with OSS is coming to an end where that will actually have an opportunity uh, to be reviewed and uh, and looked at and if we uh, proceed with that it'll go back to tender as well so my next question i guess would be do you feel you made the right choice at that time yes go ahead Councilor uh, different mayor tony and i guess um uh council um has the obligation set out in our act in the municipal act that it is we have to select the lowest tender um, regardless of how we may or may not feel it is our obligation to um, select the lowest tender okay but so then if it's the lowest tender at that moment but then all of a sudden the price goes up does it still become the lowest tender well, you know, I, I don't really want to get into debate about that, but uh, you could buy a truck two years ago that you tender out, and two years later, the truck could be more or less. You, you don't know that. Well, that's that's absolutely correct. You don't know that. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Um, what was your next question? Actually, I'll forego on my next one for now. Okay. We have two minutes left for the hearing. So if you have anything else, then you should uh, ask or comment. So I'll, I'll refrain. Okay. Any further comments from council? Dipper Mayor Wintone. Um, and Howie, I just wanted to thank you for joining us. You are the, uh, uh, so far the only one that j did join in on uh, asking questions for the public hearings. And on, for myself, I, I truly appreciate that. Um, hearing the comments directly from the ratepayers and in regards to these so um, I again I'm, I'm not sure what your other questions were but I would highly encourage you to ask them we're here to answer those questions um, and if there is anything please ask away okay no I think I'm, I'm, I'm good for them but thanks Okay, if there's no other further discussion, I will close the public hearing for uh, Bylaw 6, 2022. And being that it's seven o'clock. They could be late. There could be others that may come in two minutes late. Okay, so minutes. maybe give them another 
five minutes. I think that's fair. Okay. We did notice, or uh, the last one I did have notice that it would start at seven, so if we wait a couple of minutes, it would be fair. Okay, well, then we can give it 10 minutes to. <coughs> We can take a recess then for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, so being 7.15 and we have no other uh, repairs to ask any questions or join in with this hearing, I will now um, adjourn this meeting or this uh, special hearing at uh, 7.15 p.m. I'll move that. I guess I have to do that. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Councilor Bobbick. All in favor? It's carried. We're adjourned.